Hello everyone, welcome to Manover podcast session talk with Topper show. So today our topper is Bhumi and uh, she's a MCA student. So basically, uh, uh, Bhumi, welcome to this podcast session. Thank you, sir. So Bhumi, please explain, share something about your educational background. Uh, so I just completed my BCA degree from mm-hmm. uh, SK Somaya University Vidya Vihar. And okay. uh, now I will be pursuing MCA. Mm-hmm. So I gave my entrance examination and I scored 97.32 percentile in mm-hmm. the Maha MCA entrance examination. Right, right. So basically, uh, when you started your preparation for this uh, MCA CET exam? I started in the month of June. June mm-hmm. 2023, okay. when I was about to begin with my third year in college, simultaneously mm-hmm. I enrolled for the classes for the CET preparation. Okay, so simultaneously you are preparing for uh, this, uh, your final year as well as this exam. So basically what was your daily schedule to manage the time and how uh, many hours on a daily basis or weekly basis you devoted for this entrance exam? So, sir, actually, uh, since we Mm -hmm. had our college timing still evening, so Mm -hmm. I used to come home and uh, attend the online classes. Mm -hmm. The reason I took online classes was because it would be too hectic to travel two times a day to Mm -hmm. go to college as well as classes. So to save time, I joined the online classes and then I used to come home and I used to have my online classes lecture from seven to nine. Right. So right. in that lecture, uh, I used to note down all the things that uh, we used to solve or maybe mm-hmm. whatever the teachers used to say. Right. And, and most of the time I used to study was basically Saturday, Sunday, because during the week it would already be very hectic mm-hmm. with the college mm-hmm. as well. Right, right. So basically online session is beneficial for you and specifically for those students, those who are uh, their hectic schedule, it means college timing is not matched with something. So uh, one more yes, benefit sir. is one more benefit of the online classes, online uh, lecture is what you can get it in a pre-recorded format. It means uh, recorded format. So whenever you have time, so you can watch it. So this is the one benefit of the online classes, right? Yes. I actually was looking for MCA entrance classes and mm-hmm. I searched it on Google mm-hmm. and I saw that, that it has a branch in Thane. So mm-hmm. since I stay in Mulund, it is easier. Right. So I discussed it with my friend who also gave MCA entrance and was enrolled in your classes as well. So okay, we both okay. decided to go and have a word in the Thane branch. Mm-hmm. So we visited there and later on we end. So, okay, Bhumi. So as you said, ki you joined the Manuver uh, classes online. So how was your experience uh, about the Manuver in online classes? Uh, so- It was really great, sir. Uh, uh, The faculty was also great. We Mm -hmm. had a good experience. Uh, I personally loved the teaching of Disha, ma'am. She used Mm -hmm. to teach us maths. And also the computer concepts from your side was excellent. So Mm -hmm. those two Mm -hmm. things really helped. Okay. okay. And what is the, uh, basically, most of the students during the preparations or classes face related to the doubt solving. So how was your, uh, it means experience related to doubt solving, how much doubt solve was it, how much doubt was it, and the uh, uh, role of the faculty and mentor in your preparation? Uh, sir, it was actually uh, very helpful that there was a helpline number that the classes mm. provide, and right. we can send our doubts through them to the mm-hmm. faculty, and then we get the solution of it. So mm-hmm. it was very helpful. Uh, it used to take uh, one or two days, but we used to get a solution for sure. Okay, okay. Now coming to the exam pattern, there is a four section, mathematics, reasoning, English and computer. So uh, uh, most of the student uh, think ya, fir ek phobia hota hai mathematics ko leke, ki it's very difficult. So as per you, which section is easy and difficult for you and how you uh, tackle it? For me also, sir, maths is, <laughs> I just don't like maths since my school days. Mm-hmm. But since it was a part of the curriculum and also we had it for three semesters in college. So thank mm-hmm. God there was no uh, contact break with maths. So I could right. manage it somehow. Mm-hmm. And uh, I focused on the easy topics of the maths because mm-hmm. uh, difficult topics, I never thought it was easier for me. Right. So uh, instead of doing that, I focused on the rest of the three uh, subjects which we had like English, computer concepts and logical mm-hmm. reasoning. Uh, my most favorite was logical reasoning. I used to love solving that. 
the reasoning mm-hmm. questions and since uh, i am from an it background computer concepts was also easy easy for you right right yeah. and uh, what about the advanced math it means uh, kitne how many questions was there in exams and uh, what was the level of it uh first slot one i think my slot was comparatively easy to the slot two also slot one <laughs> oh yeah yes sir i saw your review mm-hmm. uh, after the examination and yeah i actually found some questions difficult since i don't like math mm-hmm. but uh, i was able to manage some and some i just guessed it and gave the answers so maybe that helped mhm and what was your strategy in actual exam to appear the uh, section it means what was it means like the computer section first or reasoning section mathematics and oh, what was the exact sequence so first i actually appeared for computer concepts because i was mm. confident about that so i started with computer concepts and then english and then mm. logical reasoning and i kept maths for the last Mm. So first twenty question from computer, so then eight twenty question yes. from the English, and then because you are good in reasoning, so then you started the reasoning, mm. and after that the most difficult section in the uh, end of the uh, it was a uh, last part basically. Yes, sir, because I was not very sure about it, and I decided not to waste time and mm. lose my confidence in the start itself. So I kept right, it right. for the end. Like I could manage it somehow. Mm-hmm. So when we appear the uh, easy questions and a uh, confidence हो जाता है कि नहीं इतने questions right हैं तो automatically during the complete uh, period आप एक full confidence में रहते हो. True sir, exactly. Mm-hmm. Now the next thing is that कि as you prepared whatever it means जो भी question practice किया, mock practice किया, how it was relevant to actual exam. It was really very good the mock test papers. Mm-hmm. Uh, full length mock test I would say I appeared around five. Eight hmm. to six, and the subject-wise mock test I gave all of them because I used to uh, do it subject-wise, and I used to get confidence about it. Right. Since maths was not good, I used to avoid giving full-length mock test, but I still managed to give some of them, hmm. and those tests really helped in the exam. Sure, great, great. So basically, how many full-length mock tests you attempt? I gave five to six, sir. Five out of ten, which were there. Which were there in the portal? Mm-hmm. I attempted five to six, and the topic-wise test and the club test of English and reasoning, all those mm-hmm. things I gave properly. So basically, role of the mock test is very important. So as per very you, important. Means, uh, what is the importance of mock test? If you can something explain, ki how it's helpful, how much progress is there, uh, the people can evaluate themselves. Ah uh, yes, sir. So mock test basically will help you in time management. That mm-hmm. is the first thing. Also, it will prepare you for the difficult questions because I thought that the mock test we had it had a good amount of difficult questions mm-hmm. that helped us to face the examination with confidence. So uh, I think mock test really play a important role. Okay, okay, great. And uh, where was your center, and what was your uh, understanding? It means when you saw the question, and as just you have prepared the questions, the questions came. The, so basically, did they experience? so hmm. if you if you can so my center hmm. was hmm. in borivali and okay. i had the morning slot so left early morning from home hmm. and reached there quite in time when you and left from then, your home i left at around 6 6, 6 okay. am hmm. yeah so uh, i reached the center in time we i almost waited there for an hour because i was early so then uh, with the questions i thought it was easier the computer mm-hmm. section english and also logical reasoning mm-hmm. i would say it was easy and maths mm-hmm. was okay not so easy i would say but yeah rest three were great right 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 so uh, next question ki as you appeared the exams basically you are aware about the kitna scores aayega so when you saw your results so what was your first reaction and uh, it was is it as per your expectation ya yeah, fir you are expecting more ya yeah, fir less whatever i was very happy when i saw it first actually mm-hmm. they give out the marks mm-hmm. and not the exact percentile so at that time it was very difficult to guess that where will i be standing mm-hmm. in such a great crowd but uh, i evaluated the marks and this time there was a confusion in the english subject that they had not given the paragraph or something mm-hmm. so that was also a confusion this time i don't know what it was but it they should they should have given a paragraph actually mm-hmm. 
so okay. that was a little upsetting but uh, mm. otherwise i thought that uh, yeah the score was okay for me but i was not expecting that uh, this percentile mm. or what i will be able to get okay okay so now uh, i think so uh, this year you will complete your graduation and also you cleared this exam so uh, in future you are planning for the mca so uh, in which sector of it you want to make your career i actually like coding so mm-hmm. majorly i want to go for the development field mm-hmm. like developing softwares and everything so if you can elaborate what what is why why in development what will be the future of development so uh, those who are watching this podcast so they can understand ki basically uh, what are the future uh, area uh, after doing the mca so yeah sir so it is basically everywhere nowadays so mm-hmm. it has become a very common thing to see in our day to day lives mm-hmm. and uh, for my final year project also i developed a mobile application oh nice so uh, basically developing things uh, is something that i like like solving the problem solving mm-hmm. the needs and so yeah it has a vast amount of uh, uh, nowadays it is very very open to all people mm-hmm. can learn it easily and then they can grow in those fields also right right okay one last question basically ki uh, uh, most of the time student face nowadays destruction during the preparation because of the social media and some other things so during your preparation uh, is it any destruction and if it was so how you handle it yes sir of course it is a very big destruction and mm. uh, during the last 15 days when the exam was closer Mm-hmm. uh we actually appealed in college as well that we will not be attending the lectures and we need time for our preparation so th- thankfully the college was supportive mm-hmm. and uh, those 15 days i completely just stayed away from my phone i uninstalled all, <laughs> all my social media applications just whatsapp because that is required Sorry, and uh, the rest of the social media applications were totally out and i mm-hmm. decided that those last 15 days is everything that i have in my hand so mm-hmm. that time i really was focused and prepared okay okay great thing because social media it's impacting on study nowadays uh, it's a yes, very big sir. issue related to students because once we start scrolling there is no end to mm, it so no it is end. better to uh, you will think just for the 5 minute it will take one more than one hour and uh, exactly sir uh, अंडरस्टैंड भी नहीं कर सकते कि ये वन आवर कैसे वेस्ट हो गया ओके नेक्स्ट नाइस टू टॉक टू यू भूमि एनी फाइनल सजेशन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स दोज आर प्लानिंग फॉर द नेक्स्ट ईयर फॉर दिस एग्जाम हाउ दे शुड टू प्रिपेयर वेयर दे हैव टू फोकस हाउ दे कैन सेव द टाइम एवरीथिंग एज पर यू so i would just wish them all the best for their examination mm-hmm. and i am very sure that if they decide to do it they can do it it is not correct, something rocket correct. science which which is very difficult to target people say such things and therefore students have fear in their mind but it is not nothing like that and mm-hmm. with proper guidance i think yes if you are determined to do it you will do it and it is very easy to crack with proper guidance i would say that is the mm-hmm. most important mm mm-hmm. mm so basically you are mentioning the most important thing guidance so from where they will get the guidance from the classes sir i <laughs> would really recommend them to mm-hmm. enroll in uh, the manual education classes because it was really a great experience and i could score this much because of them so yeah correct correct because when a student prepare under the guidance of the faculty so a student can save a lots of time and effort because exactly uh, sir self preparations karte hain to usme ek problem hota hai ki you are not exact aware about the pattern level of the questions and the tricks also so thoda yeah. sa agar se aap uh, केयर करके अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ स्टडी करो तो आप एक स्टूडेंट काफी टाइम सेव कर सकता है एक राइट डायरेक्शन में प्रिपरेशन हो जाता है और लिमिटेड टाइम में काफी बेटर स्कोर करने का चांसेस बन जाता है सो बेसिकली सो एज यू स्टार्टेड फ्रॉम द जून सो व्हाट यू कैन सजेस्ट फॉर द अदर स्टूडेंट्स सो हाउ अर्ली दे शुड टू स्टार्ट देयर प्रिपरेशन so actually sir what happened was we had our vacation and my friend and i discussed that we have to go for this examination mm. so first we were unaware about the classes and everything like we can even enroll so we mm. thought of doing it ourselves so we actually had gone to stationeries looking for mc entrance books but it was so confusing like without any guidance right. so then we decided like just looking for books and solving it on our, on our own is not actually going to help us 
so right. i am thankful that we had time to decide ki no this is not working for us we should enroll mm. for classes so all these things really helped because we joined in june so that right. was also a very long period we had for our preparation for mm-hmm. our doubt solving for multiple practices of the questions so the classes guidance and i would say that as soon as we join it is better for us because we right. have all the time in our hand mm mm-hmm. because the section is there is a four section and mathematics is difficult exactly so basically as early as possible if someone starts so definitely they will get the benefit and uh, uh, it's possible to score the 100 percentile 99.99 percentile in this exams yes sir uh, after that whatever the college uh, they are targeting the easily they hmm. can absolutely sir okay okay thanks bumi to come here to share your uh, strategy about your uh, exam uh, entrance exams uh, strategy planning preparation strategy everything uh with uh, our students those who are watching this podcast so hope so guys uh, this podcast will be helpful for you to understand the about the exams about the mock tests uh, importance of the mock tests and preparation strategy and what after uh, doing the mca what are the futures are available as uh, bhumi mentioned they want to make uh, she want to make uh, her career in development field so uh, uh, just try to connect with this channel you will get the lots of podcast and uh, valuable information uh related to the exam preparation related to the future planning uh, uh in development field so if you think this video is a valuable and it's create the value in your preparation so just like and channel ko subscribe kar lo and once again i will i would like to thanks to bhumi to come here to share your experience and wish you all the best for your future thank you so much sir for having me here and for the guidance from you from the classes and everything mm. uh it will definitely make my future bright thank you so much sir for everything sure, sure, and all sure. the best to all the students preparing for the entrance exam okay great thank you